here's where discounting that by is t okay now we're discounting it by zero years okay now any number raised to the power of zero is simply equal to one so the present value of a future value of minus two thousand euros is minus two thousand euros today so if you owe two thousand euros today you still owe two thousand euros today so the present value is minus two thousand euros okay let's have a look at when t is equal to one so when t is equal to 1, we end up with that the present value is equal to, well, what's the net position in year 1, or after one year has elapsed? It's 500 euros divided by 1 plus the interest rate. And the interest rate we're assuming to be 5%. So it's 0 0.05. And that needs to be discounted by one year. Okay, so that's 500 divided by 1.05, which gives us a present value of well, when we do this we have 500 divided by 1.05 gives us a value of 476 euros and 19, 19 cent or let's just say 476 euros so 500 euros in one year's time is only worth 476 euros today okay continuing in this fashion when t is equal to 2 in other words two years has elapsed our net position is 400 euros so the present value is 400 euros divided by 1 plus 0 0.05 raised to the power of 2 because we have to discount that by 1 2 years okay so doing this on a calculator this is the same as 400 euros divided by 1.05 squared okay so when I do this on the calculator it's 400 euros divided by 1.05 squared gives us a value of 362 euros and 81 cent or we end up with the present value of 400 euros is 363 euros okay so 400 euros in two years time is only equivalent to 363 euros today if interest rates are running at five percent okay and uh, let's do when t and t is equal to 3 so the present value is equal to 300 the net position in year 3 divided by 1 plus 0 0.05 raised to the power of 3 now I'm going to do that in one go on the calculator that's 1 plus 0 0.05 is 1.05 so it's 300 divided by 1.05 raised to the power of 3 gives us a value of 259 euros okay so 300 euros in three years time is only worth 259 euros today okay? and 700 euros when t when t is equal to four in year four or after four years have elapsed we have the present value is 700 euros divided by one plus 0 0.05 discounted by four years and that gives us it's 700 euros divided by 1 plus 0 0.05 is 1 1.05 raised to the power of 4 because we're discounting by 4 years and that gives us 576 576 euros approximately so this is 576 okay so now what we have for this particular project is we have all of the net positions okay discounted back into today's terms so everything represents an amount of money in today's terms so the net present value is the sum of the present values so it's 576 plus 259 plus 363 plus 476 and minus the 2000 euros minus 2000 euros gives us a net position of minus 326 euros okay and this is our NPV this value here is the net present value of this particular project so let's just recap here from a naive perspective getting the difference between the benefits and the costs for each year okay and summing up them net positions we would expect to make a loss of 100 euros but the problem with this particular technique is that we don't take into consideration the time value of money that some amount of money in the future is not worth the same today due to prevailing interest rates 
Now, when we calculate the present value for each net position, okay, that brings each value or each each amount in the future back into today's terms. So when we sum these values up, we get a value that represents the totality of how much this project is worth in today's terms. In this case, this project would make a loss of minus 326 euros, which is a bigger loss in today's terms than what the naive approach would have said. Okay. Uh, so guys, uh, this short video, as I mentioned earlier, was dealing with the calculation of the net present value of a project where you've been given a schedule of costs and a schedule of benefits. Let's just keep in mind that these costs and these benefits would more than likely be tied up in a, a small narrative for this particular project. And it's your job, I suppose, to extract these costs and these benefits from that particular narrative. But this is the calculation of the net present value. All that will change is your costs and your benefits and your different net positions and more than likely the interest rate. But in each case we can calculate the present value by using the present value formula. And what we do is we calculate the present value for each net position okay, throughout the years and we sum the present values to give us our net present value. Okay guys. Uh, once again, thank you for your time. Uh, this was Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Office uh, at the National College of Ireland. Thank you.